I was raised on a corn farm in Nebraska. Uh, it's a farm that's been in my family for many generations. My sister and I were the fifth generations on the farm. We raised corn, pigs, cattle. I took my first genetics course in college, and this was about a decade after genetic engineering was discovered. And I realized the power of genetics and being able to manipulate an organism and what that could do and all the problems we could solve with it. And so it led me down this path um, from college to graduate school and then on to my own uh, faculty position where I started working on trying to engineer biology and understand how to engineer biology. Genetic engineering, as it's been practiced in the past, is uh, been doing one experiment at a time, uh, trying to understand the intricacies of biology and understand how biological systems work. Uh, as we've started to use that information to solve problems, generally we solve one problem and then completely start over um, when we try to approach the next problem. With synthetic biology, we're trying to make components that are reusable so that we can build them to solve one problem and then reuse them to solve another problem. This is the way we did the artemisinin project and then eventually the biofuels project. We took these components that we used to engineer biology to produce this anti-malarial drug and then reuse the components and the system itself to produce biofuels. I'm very interested in doing work that also helps the environment. Many of the chemicals and the fuels that we use on a day-to-day -day basis are produced in environmentally harmful ways. They create a lot of pollutants that end up in the environment. If you could engineer a microbe that would produce these same chemicals and the same fuels, but do so from a sugar um, and in a large vat like how we brew beer and wine, you could do so in an environmentally friendly way. The fuels that we're creating are also better for the environment because they're derived from sugar. That sugar is produced from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. When you burn the fuel, you put that carbon dioxide back. Unlike in fossil fuels where you pull the carbon up from the ground, you burn it in your automobile and the carbon goes into the atmosphere. With these advanced biofuels, we have the opportunity of them being carbon neutral, recycling the carbon that's already into the atmosphere um, through the sugar into the fuel and back into the atmosphere. The work on the biofuels really comes full circle for me, uh, from the farm uh, to the research lab and back to the farm again. My father said to me, what are you trying to do? Put me out of business? Uh, I had been talking smack about uh, ethanol and ethanol from corn in particular. And I said, no, of course I'm not trying to put you out of business. Uh, I'm trying to remake American agriculture uh, so that farmers are not only producing our food, but also producing our fuel. Uh, I'm really trying to make the Midwest into the new Mideast. Uh, and for me personally, this is tremendously rewarding to think about uh, where I came from and the farm that I came from and the fact that the research we're doing in the lab could end up on that farm again in a couple of decades and that it could be helping us reduce the amount of carbon in the atmosphere and also help the American people produce their own fuels.